Hey there, my name is Ali. Five tips to be super fast in Photoshop. Okay, I'll start with the first one. The first one, which is the most important, it's the keyboard hot keys. I'm gonna show you how I will do something. Actually, let's say I have this one. First of all, if I'm standing on anyone, if I have to like get that one to move it, I'll have to go to this one first. Then I'll have to go to that one, I guess. Then right click free transform, then make it bigger. And to make it bigger in an aspect ratio, I'll have to link that one and make it bigger like that. Then I'll press right click, duplicate layer here. Then I'll press OK. Then I'll take the move tool, move it back to the right. Then I'm gonna take these both, right click, merge layers. You saw how long did that take? Now with hotkeys, everything should be like much faster. So you can press Ctrl T, make it larger, hold Alt and Shift, drag it to the left. Ctrl E will do the merging. Another copy, Ctrl E, another copy. Control E, you want to make it bigger, just Control T, then holding Shift Alt, make it bigger, move it, Alt, Control T. Okay, so now maybe like I made a very big texture. Okay, in just like few seconds, Control E to merge it, everything. Okay, let me tell you one thing, you need, like, this should take time, like, not from the first time you use, you need, but when you stand on any of the tools, you will find the letter for it. So, V for, look here, V for move tool, M marquee. M marquee, L lasso, magic wand, crop tool, like uh, G for gradient, O for dodge and burn, P for pen, T for text. All the tools like you use regularly, you should know what letter brings them. Okay, but the problem you might face is that, let's say you don't want that lasso. You want the polygonal lasso. So, so if you press L, you will go to that one. So this trick is holding shift and L, it will switch between the different lasso tools. But let's say I don't want the magnetic lasso because I'll never use it. It's completely useless, I hate this tool. Okay, so what to do is you go to that one, you press right click, edit toolbar, then you find the magnetic lasso and you just remove it from the L. And of course you can change any letter you want. Let's say, let's go to the G, I never use the material drop, so I'll just remove it. And I can also, let's say, remove the paint bucket because I don't use it. And if I'm standing here and I press G, it will automatically bring the gradient tool. So this way is very fast. Let's say I want the marquee, so I'll press M. I want the other one, Shift M. So I'm switching between them. And this is how to change it. Okay, the last thing is that, let's say this material, it's too bright for me. I want to make it darker. So this way, I just, I just made it darker. What I did is that if you have image adjustments, you will find a lot of tools and every tool will have a shot a hot key for it. So I go to edit, keyboard shortcuts. Then you can find like the image or any tool you want. I went to image adjustments, the brightness and contrast. I made it by control and Q because it's very close to me. So I just press control and Q, make it brighter. Press control Q, make it darker. So it's up to you. You see the tools which you use the most and you make out of it something like that. Okay, that's the first tool. The second tool which is really important and I don't see a lot of people using it is the brush resizing. Okay, let's say we're in the brush tool. Most people, I see them, they either press right click and they're like, okay, I'll use a smaller size, a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger, or a little bit harder or smaller, something like that. Oh, I want the hard brush or the soft brush. This is like, complete waste of time. Other people will press the bracket on their keyboard to make it. But the best way to do that, it's if you're using Mac, you hold command and option. If you're using uh, Windows, you hold only alt. Alt and then you hold the right click button. Right and left will make your brush bigger. Up and down will make your brush softer or harder. To memorize that, right and left is easy because yeah, like we write from left to right. I never find problems with it. Up and down is a little bit, people forget it, but I always remember it. But the soft is the sky, so we move up. The ground is hard, so you move down. This is a way to remember it. So if I do something like that, I want a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller and softer, harder. This is like the fastest way to do it. Get used to this one. It will save you tons of time. Okay. 
One more tip I want to tell everybody. The third one, it, it's about zooming. So when people zoom in and out, everyone has their own methods. Some people would go to the zoom tool and they would just like uh, zoom in and out. Some people will hold the alt or option key and scroll inside and outside. My best way is pressing control and space, which is command and the space bar together. Just, I want to zoom to the boat. I'm like somewhere here. I want to zoom to the boat. So I'll just command space and hold click, move left and right. This is like the fastest way to zoom in and out. The best method. Okay. One more tool I want to talk about, which is now the fourth one. Uh, it's the XD. I call it the XD tool. Okay, what the XD tool does, let's say I have this uh, material here. And I want to revert the colors to black and white. So remember like the emoji, you know that emoji XD? Yeah, this is it. So pressing D, D for default actually. So D will bring you back to black and white. So if, I, if you have any like different colors and you just press D, you're back on black foreground, white background. So for example, if I want to color the background with uh, white, so I just press, press D, control backspace. Or if I want black, I press D, alt backspace. Okay, the other one is X. X is like, here is a reference to the opposite. If you press X, you see what happens to the colors? They change. This could be useful if you're coloring something. Let's say you're using a blue and an even lighter blue. And you're, you're coloring something like something like that. Then you want the other color. Then you want the blue again. You want the other color again. So this will help a lot. Okay. Uh, the other one, like the use, I use the most for the XD. Let's say I have a layer mask here and I want to first bring the black and white. I'll just press D, stand on my layer mask. Now I have the black and white. And like we said, use the brush bigger and smaller. And I'll just paint black to delete the parts I don't want. Oh, let's say this is like too strong for me. I want to bring back some parts. So I'll press X and bring back some parts. I want to delete. I'll press X and delete. I want to bring back X and bring back. So this is very useful, especially with layer masks. Okay, so let's bring back that by Alt Backspace to paint white. And let's be bring back. So one more thing about the coloring and the brushes I have to add, which is the opacity actually. Most people when they are coloring something, you want to make lower opacity, you will go here and you will just lower the opacity. This is the slowest way. The faster way is by like clicking and moving it. And the fastest way is by your keyboard. For example, I want 20% opacity. I just press two. It will be 20% opacity and I'll color. I wanted 80. I'll press eight. So it's 80. Let's say I want 75. I'll just write 75. So as long as you're in the brush tool, whenever you type a number, your it will automatically bring your opacity. And if you're like on the move tool, and you're standing on the layer and you type, for example, nine, the opacity of the layer will be 90. Let's say I'll type 100, or you can type 100, I guess. It will be 10, just type 99, so you have like almost 100. Okay, the last tip I'm gonna say, let's say, let's say we're working with this texture. The last tip is actually gonna be making your file faster. So let's say I made this texture like that. Let's say I want this texture to be like, some sort of water. I made it something like that. And I added a mask. I pressed G for gradient. I pressed 20 for 20 opacity. And then I just started like adding some sort of gradient to delete the edge. Then I changed the blending mode to multiply and lowered the opacity. Let's say I wanted lower the opacity. Okay, I'm gonna show you like all the tools. Let's say I wanted even more colorful. I press Control U for hue and saturation, make it more colorful, or make it absolutely without color. It's too dark. I'll press Control Q for brightness and contrast, make it brighter. I'll take B for brush, stand on the layer mask, and just delete the hard edge. Oh, I wanna bring some edge. I press X and I bring some of it. Lower the opacity of the layer. I'll press V for the move tool, then press two for 20% opacity. All what I did now was using the hotkeys. Okay, the last tip is that, let's say now if I go to the crop tool using C, if I click 
You see how heavy our file is now? All these pixels are making our file heavier. So this tip is actually to make you work fast. If you're sure you don't want the excessive areas, make sure you press the C for crop, then press one click. Click on delete cropped pixels and click yes. So now our file will be having nothing on the edges much faster. The faster your file is, the faster you can work on Photoshop. So if you guys have any tips on how to work faster, please share them with me. We're all still learning Photoshop. Maybe you have like tips that will make you work faster that I do not know. So make sure you share them with us below in the comments. Thank you guys.